Get this down is this one and Woo, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Okay. The, the crowd goes mild. <laughs> um, so this guitar um, is really special. And I, gosh, I painted this maybe 2004. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time. Just I was, the body, right? Yeah. Um, at, at that time, it had a different neck on it. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's obvious where this, where the inspiration came from. Sure. Um, this is, I sprayed the, uh, the, the case stencil from mm -hmm. one of Robin Crosby's um, road cases. And uh, it was loaned to me um, by a close friend. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just one of those things that I wanted to, you know, kind of pay tribute to Robin, who um, was a friend. And, you know, at that time, he had only been gone for a couple of years. Oh. Um, yeah, because he passed away in 2002. And I did this, you know, 2004. Two, yeah. And, yeah, it, it has a lot of sentimental value. Um, and, you know, quite frankly, this, this sat on a stand for, you know, years and was kind of neglected mm -hmm. um, to a certain extent. I mean, as much as the rest of these are. But I really care a lot about this guitar. Uh, it's it's something that makes me smile when I see it, uh, because it reminds me of Robin. Of, of Robin. Yeah. And um, you, you know, his 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 phone number is still in the, the phone number that he had at that time. It's still in my phone. Oh. Um, and I know I've had many phones since then. But you know, it, save things to your SIM card, kid, and then you, yeah, you, yeah, you can um, get him. But I still have his number in my phone. Uh, I spoke with him. Um, v pretty close before he passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing he said to me was, "I'll call you when I'm fe when I'm feeling better." So um, yeah, there's that. A part of me always wanted to keep his phone number, um, and uh, so yeah. So this is this is what makes me think of of him. Um, this pass that's on here is um, a working personnel pass from the Dancing Undercover tour. So that was 86, 87, 86, 87, 86, 87 yeah. yeah. Um, and so the first time I painted this, um, do you remember what the LB was? No, uh, that could be, it could be Long Beach. Like uh, this could have been for one particular show, maybe the Long okay. Beach Arena yeah, in California. Yeah. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. I, I'm just guessing. Um, I had another one and I thought that I would want to protect it. So once I got to the point where I was in the clear coat process, um, I clear coated over the whole thing and the pass didn't take that very well. So oh, it kind of, it didn't it, really, it, it, so I had to peel it off and, and then I shot another coat on here. Um, but you know, this is, uh, you know, it's got gray primer underneath it and, you know, I shot white over it and then, you know, I kind of do some, some color sanding and, you know, I'm going through, as you can see all these gray marks here. Yeah. And, and I was, at first, I'm like, oh, shit, you know, there's like, I, this, this, I can't do this. But then I thought to myself, well, you're going to have a road case on it. You know, it kind of gives it that kind of vibe. So mm -hmm. so I kept it. Um, you told me something about the inlays in the one, if I remember correctly, or not. Was, did I? was it on um, the one? No. I'm drawing a blank. No, maybe it was that one over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. the binding. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this neck on this guitar um, was made at the same time as this one. Okay. And I don't exactly remember, well actually I do remember now why I didn't wind up using this for that guitar. Um, it's because when I was thinning out um, the headstock, the, the back of the headstock, it got too thin. Oh, okay. Um, and then so it sat oh, yeah. on a shelf for, you, you can tell. Yeah, for a really long time. And then, um, my friend Mike Squires uh, from the Couch Riffs podcast, mm -hmm. they were gonna do a performance of Lay It Down. And he said, do you have like a Raven I can borrow for, for that video? That excited. And I first, you know, I immediately thought of that okay. one. I sent him a picture and he's like, oh, that's rad. And then I'm like, oh, geez, yeah, how about, that. how about this? Um, but it doesn't have an, you know, I don't have, I, if it was gonna 
be used for something now, mm-hmm. it wasn't going to have the neck it had on it. Oh, I get so, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remembered, I'm like, you know, I've got this really old neck. Yeah, Let you, me see if I can it make it here. work. Um, it's real thin. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I made it work. And uh, I remember it had a square heel. Um, and so before I sent it to Squires, I kind of reshaped it and just kind of drilled the holes out just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But um, and then the King, the those stickers, that was kind of a, a nod to another one of uh, mm-hmm. his birds. Yeah, it was a reverse one that has a dragon um, artwork on the yeah. front and it had those stickers on the back. So. So, yeah, that's that's this. That's this one. It's got an ebony peg head now that I look oh, at it. And yeah. Yeah. It's a cool Whoa. guitar. It is. 